Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you something new, at least for me. Uh, in all my times of experimenting with HHO, one thing I never bothered to do was hook up an HHO dry cell to a solar panel. So now, now that I'm into solar, I've actually got a couple panels. These uh, panels you see behind me here, these are just some super cheap um, 140 watt panels that are made in China. I picked them up off a local guy uh, off Craigslist for like 50 bucks a piece. So I just use them for experimenting. Now they, they are running at a little higher voltage. They run 43 volts each. Um, I had to configure it in a way where I've got uh, the two outside panels on each side wired in series and then those two paired together in parallel. Uh, it, it, it was running about 80 volts um, at the solar panels. By the time I get them all the way down here between the line loss and I think maybe the fact that my cell is cold, maybe the electrolyte's not that strong, I'm only pulling about 50 volts at the cell. When I measured it a few minutes ago, it was about 50 volts and 11 amps. But the, the cell is cold. I imagine once it warms up, um, it's going to start drawing more amps than that, and maybe higher voltage. I don't know. Again, because I've never hooked, hooked up a dry cell to a solar panel before. So I'm going to turn it on for you. Now, before I do, I just want to point something out. Um, this cell has 22 plates. I have one positive, one negative, and 20 neutral plates in between it. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that you want to you want to try to get the voltage between each plate to around two volts. Um, this is going to be overdriven a bit. The way I have it configured now, I, when I when I took a measurement, it was about 2.4, 2.5 volts between each plate gap. And what that means is the cell is going to end up running hot. If I leave it on for very long, it's probably going to heat up pretty quick and and get into a thermal runaway type situation. But just for a, for a quick demonstration, just to show you how much gas you could put out from, you know, even a minimal, minimal amount of solar. It's pretty impressive. So here, here we go. I've got it, got it wired through this breaker. So I'm going to flip the breaker on. It just acts as an on off switch. Here we go. Turned it on. You can see the gas going like crazy through here. And I, I'm not going to do a liter per minute test, but I'm going to drop this hose with a little filter on it down into the glass of water just so you can see how much gas is being produced. It's actually pretty impressive. Look at that. So, now here's some food for thought. I see this argument. We've all seen the argument about, you know, putting one of these generators in your car, truck, whatever. The draw on the alternator is going to negate any gains that you get. Well, what if you have solar panel or panels involved creating the gas that's not adding an extra draw on the alternator? Eh, food for thought. Take care. 